Hello, once again, everyone from the mystical, magical land of my imagination, where I actually have viewers. <laughs> Any besides you, besides you, GP. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Welcome back to another episode of Stories from the Seven Shard. Today we are on episode 87. And um, if you all notice, we are missing a Miss Darksbane. She and all of her household are deeply under the weather. We hope she gets better soon. Love you. Mean it. <laughs> really miss you. Um, Anyway, when we last let off from the stories from the Seven Shot, the singles variant of combat in the Tournament of Harmony had just come to a close with Lou, the Warrior of Light, taking over the champion position, tier just dropping the deuces and dropping, you know, quite a hefty load of information onto Fion and Skull, along with uh, Lucifer, the most powerful of the Radiant beyond the Radiant itself, revealing that it was... Skull's mother. Additionally, after the fight with Yedrin, the Warrior of Light, in a presumed moment of cognizance, along with freedom, ripped himself out from underneath Hydaelyn leaving the Warrior of Light position vacant. And Heidelin was none too happy about that, throwing a minor hissy fit. <laughs> Prompting Dequa and several other people to have seizures <laughs> from their echoes going berserk. However, at this point, Nothing seems to have changed. Everyone is more or less fine, and there doesn't appear to be any significant changes to anything going on within Aperneus at this time. We pick up back in the streets of Aperneus, where the party has decided to reconvene for the time being. Dax just looking miserable, and looks like she has a headache. And she probably does. Don't we all? Yes, but she has an actual King headache. It's fortunate that nothing major came about of whatever that was. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Hmm. I, I wonder how this is going to affect things in the future. You mean besides an uh, increase in workload, probably? Uh, oh. Indeed. The Scions are effectively headless, and... Well... Their once foreman seems to have smacked them around a bit on the way out. So, why did Heidelin throw a fit, hissy fit again? I kind of spaced out there for a little while. Because Lou went fuck this, and talked, and broke things, and she basically rejected talk? Heidelin. Yes, he rejected her influence altogether. I did not think such a thing was possible, even. But oh shit, I'm sorry. I was, I was talking out of character. Crap, sorry. No, I... I know what happened to the character. Ah. Ow. Ow. 
ears. What was that? Can That's air. a can of air. Mm. Oh. I was blowing cat hair out of my keyboard because I looked down and there was just a <laughs> horde of it. As, as far as I know, Lou rejected Island and she did not like it. <laughs> not one bit. You think I should go talk to him about my Lord and Savior, the Void? <laughs> Please, well, no. He's been only for that. He seems to have exited the city proper. Oh, so he look, seemed really pissed. I'm pretty sure anyone approaching him right now is just asking to get knocked through a wall. Yeah, he beat the shit out of Thancred and Uriandre. Really? It was kind of funny, actually. Hmm. Sons of the Scions aren't going to be doing much of anything for a while, then. Well, all these they aren't going to have the heaviest hitter for a while, if ever. So, does that mean they actually have to get their own hands dirty for once? Like I don't, I don't know. Sancred helped us out with the anima issue, at least in the beginning. Just put some like the air quotes. Helped. He scouted. I don't know. I don't know enough. I don't know enough of the science to say how important he actually was. Just speaking, since he can knock most of them around, that he was probably the heaviest hitter. Mm -hmm. That's mostly it. Yeah. So now what? Well, we get on with normal everyday lives as best as we can. Okay, um, I guess with the singles over, uh, it was boating next, wasn't it, Yedrin? Yeah, boating was next. Oh, wonderful. I've got some questions for science myself, but that can wait until after the boating contest. I'm actually not sure if I feel up to competing. Ooh. She's just like rubbing her head. That, well, it's a problem, yes. Edwin, what say you about it? Well, I'll admit my plan straight up was to score the rules a little bit, and basically I just need. I just want someone who knew how to put a boat together to help put a boat together, and then I was basically just gonna drag the thing across the water. Whoever was in the boat could just sort of relax. I can, I can still, yeah, I can still compete. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If you don't feel up to it, we don't need to. Yeah. No, I'll help. Yeah, the destruction could help. I mean, let's be honest. We probably aren't going to get much done during the tournament because everyone who cares is going to be off of the tizzy, and there's not much we can do personally, probably. Hmm. So at most. Will he even pick up his prize money, even? Who knows? Not like we can claim it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not legally, if only. But I'm thinking, unless the sky starts falling down, we can continue to enjoy the tournament. Some prize money, relax. Was that that moment then... the sky started falling? <laughs> they don't tempt fate. <laughs> And then, after it's all done, we can worry about increased workload or what calamity is going to befall us next. When we're not on off time, if you want to count this as off time. <laughs> yes. We're making money, we're working. <laughs> At least we're making money. Um, I, I am curious what happened with Dad. Uh, they said it was an emergency. Cool, oh, right. I'll you try. Um, perhaps we should look into that first, then. Uh. Well, oh. you guys have fun. Go, go have fun doing that. Um, I'm going to take my much-needed vacation, and I'm going to go get a drink and something to eat. 
because this is technically my vacation. Bye! Alright. Take care then. Adrian, um... If you'd like some help with the boat making, could you run to the uh, magic shop and pick up a scroll of fabricate? I'd be able to use that to help move things along. Maybe, uh, some, maybe gust of wind as well. Okay, I can see what I can do. Um... Just... So I just doing some math. This. Oh. Uh, is is Gates still with us? Not at this precise moment. Okay, I was I was just asking. Uh, Yedrin. Yeah, yeah. For both of them, it would be 2,000. So I'm just doing math in my head. It's like, if you win, you can make that back. If you don't, nah. If we don't, I'll pay you back. Okay. Back. Okay, then. I can do that, then. In the no loss on your part. Shall we, Jack? Um, yeah. Alright, mm. let's go, then. So I'm guessing, hang before the voting contest, Todd and Fiona are gonna look into the family, and I'm gonna go pick up the schools. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, Dak, where do you go off to to try to find out what happened? Um. I'm trying to think. I don't know where anyone else in the family is staying besides Dave. Or who else is even around? Well, I mean, you're fairly certain you could probably find a locks. Yeah. Don't know where the heck his hidey hole went, though, from last year. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I could wander around and find a family member. There's enough of them. Also, I hear that. Mm -hmm. You can always go around gathering information. Yep. Uh... I guess probably go to to um probably go to the Coliseum and ask like maybe some of the coordinators or something if they might know anything that happened. Okay. <laughs> so Dak, you head up to the to the Coliseum, and as you walk up, you see a number of frustrated people talking to the uh, to Howling Raven and a number of other coordinators. Um, would you and Fiona roll a perception? Thirty-eight. Twenty-four.
Well, as you two walk up there and are listening in, you can hear a number of people basically going, What was that? Huh? Three of the biggest contestants drop out? Some doesn't smell right. Talking about beating Raban and then Ali Lutro drops. Tia leaving all of a sudden. Who's all this then? We want our money back. We came to see a show, not a bunch of dropouts. Hmm. This isn't our fight. We shouldn't get involved. To Raven, like holding his hands up, he's like, "We cannot control outside circumstances. We apologize for the inconvenience that happened. We we promise that the rest of the tournament will go forward as intended. The signups are already done." Tier doesn't compete in anything else aside from the single tournament, so there's nothing to worry about there, and Ali Lutro wasn't signed up for anything else. We don't care about that! The single competition is the biggest part of the tourney! That's where the show is! And that's where we didn't get a show! Finally, one of the organizers like sees you guys and He's like steps away, and a couple of people try to accost him. Uh, excuse me. Um, I was wondering if you had some information. Uh, Tia, about... meanwhile, goes to interpose herself between the organizer and the cop. I was wondering if you had any information about what happened with Alutro. He goes, oh, well, not you guys, too. You're, are you really going to give us crap about that? We don't really know what happened. We just know he's a family emergency. She's family, so that's why she's asking. <laughs> so like, see his mouth open, and then his like eyelids drop, and he looks down at her, and then he looks back at Fionn, like... She married into the family. Oh. You see his like face like scrunch up even harder. He's like, Dak just looks insulted now. <laughs> He's like, don't judge. I mean, I'm. He's a big. He's a big dude. He's he's a rogue, and he's like. <laughs> well, Fiona might be short for an Allison, but she's certainly not afraid to stare him in the eyes. <laughs> I, I was just hoping one of the coordinators might have known a little bit more about what was going on. Oh, came out of nowhere. Um, some some Makote with pink hair came and talked to him for a second, and then he nodded a bit and said he had to leave. Hmm. Wouldn't tell us was, what was going on. I was gonna say, and this is the part where I'm like, fuck, which ones had pink hair? <laughs> At the fish? Yeah. That was the first one to come to mind. Uh, well, sister? Uh, hmm. I swear, I need to, I, I need to invest in a family link. That's a lot of link pearls. It's a lot of link pearls. Kato just decided to f follow them because he had nothing better else else better to do. <laughs> it is almost <laughs> entirely fair. So he's just kind of the enforcer standing in back. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> just two rows looking at each other. Um, uh, they, the the organizers like look. If we knew something, we'd let you know. 
We don't. Thank, thank you, anyway. Thank you, thank you for your time. I suppose we speak with lots then next, yes? And he's like, oh, okay. And then, like, six other people just, like, charge him. Like, giving him crap about the same shit. Fiona. <laughs> Fiona interposes herself again and asserts her presence to block them off. Uh, mm. You got your show. Go home already. Roll <laughs> <What> intimidation. <laughs> Yeah, look at that terrifying elephant. <laughs> they kind of <laughs> look down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh. Are you going to stand behind Fiona? <laughs> yes, aid another. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's Yedrin? Just have Yedrin with the axe show up. <laughs> then they don't run like fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say, Yedrin's helmet gives a plus M intimidate, I think. It does. I have plus to intimidate from a racial. Roll, buddy. That's fair. Oh, hold on. Yes, I have a plus Why don't we let, just let you do it from now on? <laughs> well, you're the one who tried to do something, Theo, so. With that plus two. The crowd kind of like looks down at you and they sort of like raise an eyebrow for a moment. And then there's this moment of silence and it's like someone goes, ah, we got a show. I guess the wolf skull is right. As they all start to walk away, even if she lost. Oh no. Fuck. Okay. Where's Skull to go fuck him up? Be on just. I twitches briefly uh, and before sighing. Well, it's not like I ever had a good record with these tournaments. It's just kind of glaring, just kind of like, should I? I could totally do it. I could just grief bomb the entire area, no one would ever know. <laughs> I, 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 so I, grief bomb again. No, I, just imagine, I could just imagine the back of one of their heads. It's a good thing Works wasn't here. The fuck did you say to me? I'll fight you right out of you, bastard! Let's go! You and me, right here! You say what, mate? I swear on me, mom! <laughs> Put it in a tube! Put your little puppy, will! <laughs> Works are just, just pulling the spear and be like, We got we got arena right here, let's go, bitch! You're having a laugh! <laughs> you having a giggle, oh, mate? Are you not entertained? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so you're going to try to go to Alox's place next? Yeah, going to attempt to find Lox's. Uh, roll a knowledge local. I mean, the last place I knew where it was, uh, move. Wow, we're coming out with some pretty damn good balls today. <clears throat> Don't jinx it. Mm, too late. Um, Fionn and Dak, as you start walking around the city, you remember conversations earlier, basically about a locks kind of starting a legit business slash a front for mm. his shit. And as you start to think about it, you hear a lot of locals talking about a new club that opened up that's moderately priced, but still nice enough, known as Bittersweets. Hmm. I think we know just where to find him. Yeah. And as you guys roll up, you kind of see this, uh, the sign with like a little arch, the script in arch writing, uh, magic behind it, kind of lighting it up, like the word bitter and blue, then sweets and pink, kind of glowing slightly, 
kind of basically it's got the club front going on there's like a line to get in see the bouncer up front like you see actually there's like three bouncers up front uh two ara and arogadin kind of like sitting there like scanning over people got like little lists they look at you they look at each other and then they kind of all reach inside their coats and like flip through like a little booklet and go and just wave you in Sweet. You want to smile some nods? I just look a little confused, but thanks so much they go in. You see one of them like touch their ear, it's like, the package has been delivered. <laughs> I'm doing a package! You, you walk can in just okay. see Kato resisting the urge to say something. As you... You don't just... Lightly backhands him on the shoulder. As you walk inside, you can see the the lighting inside is dim. There's a a well lit like jazz band kind of playing over in the corner. The place is kind of like filled with basically the music that I have playing right now. Mm. Um, there's a long bar with probably about like 40 some odd patrons kind of like sitting around chatting quietly over cocktails. You look around and you can kind of see this is not the type of place where you get like a lot of rowdy people dancing and all this stuff. This is a place where people like come smoke cigars, have high class drinks. Um, so it's more of a lounge. lounge. Yeah, it's a lounge. Um, there are a lot of provocatively dressed individuals, but nobody's doing a whole lot. So it's basically the beehive. Mm, without the stripper poles. <laughs> There's not like dancers up on stage or anything. Um, ah, okay. Uh... As you walk up, you can see, like, the long bar kind of go stretches along one side of the wall and then forms an arcway with a staircase leading up over it, kind of sitting in the middle where the barkeepers can walk between each other. Mm -hmm. And up on top of the archway, leaning on a bar, you see a lox kind of, like, dressed in his little pinstripe suit, just kind of like, looking down. Mobcat. Kind of nods to you and nods over the stairway. Yeah, you know, nods back and helps guide Dak over to the... And Dak bottles on over and up the stair. Alright. The two of you head up the stairs and as you head up the locks just kind of like leans back. You look up at the upper layer and you see there's like several waitresses kind of taking drinks to a lot of very high profile people hanging out you look way in the back and you can see the uh the aura who sponsored you last mm. year like he just kind of eyes you a little bit so he's got a massive ass j in his uh in his hand <laughs> Tommy, um, could you join us? <laughs> he's in there, yeah. Okay. Is this the Ora politician? Yep. yep. Who just smoked the entire blunt in one drag? Mm -hmm. Yep, now he's sitting in that club with a J. Gosh. He's got like a waitress on his lap with like a big ass bottle of booze. Wow. He's just like blackmail. He's just like, <laughs> looking at you like Yeah oh, no. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> not yet anyway. Yeah. Uh Fia, roll a sense motive since you've like locked eyes with him. <laughs> you realize he's a little pissed because you guys didn't keep your end of the bargain. <sighs> um but we did. We've been... I was. I was gonna say I've been. Uh, I think I did at one point say that I was going to Aparneas and to do the little sweet talking, but 
Galen has been talking to travelers and speaking about Yakikage's kindness mm-hmm. and intuition in helping fund a rest point where the homestead was. But yeah, it's uh, been I didn't a while. It's been a while. Yeah. I mean, it's been a year plus at this point. Yeah, I think he was expecting you to do he was He's been more or less expecting you to do it during the tournament. <laughs> Before the well, election shit going on. Before the election happens. To be fair, we didn't exactly get very far. <laughs> Maybe if we got to have a victory speech, but no. Hmm. Still, he doesn't say anything. He just Ouch. He just turns to the waitress and the waitress. Waitress lights his joint and just. Well, oh, just lets him off the curt nod anyway. Carries on. See so him just like become a dragon for a second, just exhales it all through his nose. <laughs> Lox, Lox, it's good to see you. Lox looks up and goes, Well, little lady. Y'all made a scene. <laughs> the wind, don't you? It's hardly on purpose. <laughs> That's well, kind of our whole shtick, isn't it? I try so hard not to be stick out. <laughs> well, for somebody who doesn't like sticking out very much, you are very much the sore thumb. Though, yeah. I can't complain. Makes my life easier. I'm sure it's always nice to have a distraction. Indeed it is. Now, considering that you came here and knowing you, what do you need? I don't know if you know anything about the emergency dad left the tournament for? World perception. Yeah, it's keeping a sharp eye on this, so 22. That would be a 37. <laughs> um, the two of you very clearly see like the corners of his lips turn up a bit. And he goes, like his eyes kind of like dance playfully. He goes, <laughs> um, emergency in the family? Dak, you know me, I'm not very well connected with them anymore. Dak just kind of like crosses her arm and tilts her head a little bit in that like, yeah, yeah, you're bullshitting me type way. Mm-hmm. He just... He cocks back and folds his arms, and he goes, What? <laughs> you expect me to know everything? Uh, I kind of expect it, yeah. Deal. I thought that was kind of your thing, wasn't it? I thought we all well, basically not. said the same thing. I'm an information broker, not a goddamn genie in a bottle or a fortune teller. You're an no, information I- broker. Your job is to know everything. Look, if you don't want to buy a family discount, that's fine. Be fair. You. <laughs> it's just you have the money. He just laughs. Uh, I'm not looking for payment right now. Though I can see that you all don't really believe me at the moment so I might be a little out of options I'm just worried about dad that's all well nothing really happened Mm mhm he had his reasons for dropping out 
I'm sure we'll figure that out at a later time if I see him and ask. Well, I mean, he did leave the city. I know, I know. It's just, yeah, I was just really worried when I heard it. I don't have any real way of contacting them. <sighs> That's fair enough. Deck. Mm-hmm. Roll a diplomacy because you're being okay. because you're being a little sweet potato. Bullshit. Okay, like say I'm not bullshitting though. He just kind of. <laughs> I'm worried. Sighs and he goes. They're gonna kill me. Okay. If it's, if it's something that'll get you in trouble. Uh, trouble's not the right word for it. Uh. He goes, Dad didn't want to fight family. Ah, uh, I see. I okay. Hmm. Wait a second. Now I'm just like, wait, what were the brackets again? Beyond the squints. I thought his final match was up against Gray. You just see, uh, you see a lox just kind of nod a little bit. Uh, wait, what? Uh? He goes, uh, the color guard are a number of our siblings. God oh, fucking damn it. Oh. Huh. Well, what? hopefully that gives you some solace, caught up. Yeah, it's not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, I okay, with that in mind, oh, all right, that that makes more sense. Thank you, Lox. That puts me a bit at ease. Just kind of nods a little and he goes, yeah, nepotism's kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm genuinely surprised they just agree to a first contact spa or something. After all, Adrian managed to get me in just the battle between summons. I found it because she was. <sighs> well, they the didn't. Technicalities and assumptions. They didn't want Dad to even know it was them, but. Mm. He raised them. He knows how they fight. He's. Perceptive father? Yeah. I mean. It's kind of scary. He's identified me by smell before. That is impressive. Dick just kind of tilts her head. Huh. That is impressive. He says, apparently I smell like cigarettes a lot. Just looks around the club. I wonder why. I have been here for less than a year, Master Hailstrom. To be fair, if that was the case, then there's probably a number of people who's the same. So that is actually impressive. Mm -hmm. I have to say, it seems you're doing quite well for yourself here, at least. Well enough for the time being. Um, I don't really want to attract a ton of attention, if that makes any sense. Just, you know, not so. He goes, 
we're thinking about incorporating a full kitchen, but at the same end, we're kind of debating about not. The overhead on that could be difficult. Mm-hmm. Well, since you uh, don't want attention, then maybe we should be leaving. Well, considering most of my clientele don't have any interest in the tournament, and well, everyone else's attention is elsewhere right now. You're free to relax here. After all, what bigger distraction is there than the tournament? That's I, I have actually have a uh, competition to go get ready for. Oh. Indeed, we've... Well, we have convinced us to sign up for the voting contest. That's going to be interesting. And Lox kind of like looks up and looks at you three and goes... What do you think the voting contest is? Uh, from what I heard, we made a make a boat, get to an island, and back. That's part of it. Okay, what's the catch? This naval warfare suddenly. Did you not read the print where it says, "Be the last one in the water or the first one back"? Yeah, damn it. What? Oh, and Yajin seems to have a trick up his sleeve, so... Maybe we won't have to worry about that either. Yeah, do you really expect a bunch of people to be able to build a functioning boat that's going to be seaworthy in an hour? I've seen the twins work, no. Yeah, the, twin, the, the twins starts are, laughing to herself. The twins are freaks of nature, so... I know. I mean, most of the family is. Mm-hmm. Stupid, sexy cat boys. <sighs> anyway. Stupid, sexy cat wow. people. Anyway. In that regard, a lot of people just focus on breaking shit. I suppose uh, that's where we'll have the advantage then. Good luck. And here yeah, I was expecting to relax. Here I was expecting something to be relaxing afterwards. Mm. He just kind of like looks down and goes, There's always the cooking contest. Mm hmm. Oh, I know. Hmm. Think of it this way, Doc. We have a certain advantage. Hmm. Others will not. Well, I hope you're right. Let's just hope there's no rule about a member, about, you know, being in the water. No. There was one team last year that just had three Sahagans who just put the boat on and just went over and stabbed holes in everybody else's. Hmm. I see. Okay. Well, either way, I need to get some actual... I need to get a swimsuit or something. Just gonna raise an eyebrow and go, okay, sis. I don't have any water clothes. <laughs> she like motions to her dress. It's like, I don't want to go swimming in this if it comes to it. <sighs> mm -hmm. That point, he like raises a finger to a waitress, and uh, Ella's and comes over, like, die high boots, um, kind of like cocktail waitress skirt nice white dress it's all like it's all black and white like at the apron on he was mm -hmm. uh 
The rolling berry martini, please. And she just nods and walks off. You got it, boss. No. You got it, boss. really all I wanted to come ask you about. It. It is nice to see you, though. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Um, you can let, let Mom and Dad know that I'm trying, operative word being trying, to go clean. Alright. I'm sure me vouching for you would put some credit, credence to it. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm not sure I would. A little bit. What can I say? I'll always be the thieving Tom of the family. Oh, you and a number of others. Mm -hmm. The only one who is unacceptably thieving. How's that? Uh, all right. All right. Kind of like eyes for the waitress because it's like berries. Hmm. <laughs> she actually does. She actually does come back and she like hands him this clear martini glass that the red liquid of it almost looks like Jello, and there's like little slices of roll and berries like floating in the bottom. It's just like, uh, that's good. <laughs> Need a drink later. Feel free to go no. back. We're always quiet. Oh. That is a mercy. Um, I'll I'll see if I have time. There is a lot to do during the festival. <laughs> well, I wish you all good luck. And mm. then he looks at a uh, Kato and says, "You good sir." made a mm -hmm. number of friends today. What? <laughs> oh, just odds were not favorable, favorable for you for that first match. Yeah, I don't think he was expecting me to be able to teleport. Most of them weren't. Which is why... You made some. You made some powerful friends because you made some people some money. Damn! If only I'd bet on myself. <laughs> well, we weren't allowed to bet. I mean, it's probably a good thing as right to bet for the Edrin. It would most. Likely be considered inside a bedding. And I hear they punish that most harshly. I would have just bet on Yedrin because Yedrin. Yeah, same. Well, yes, but I kind of knew about it here before the rest of the tournament staff did. Oh, Ox just kind of laughs and goes, oh. There were a lot of people very unhappy about that. Yeah, we ran into a few at the Coliseum that were upset about that. Oh, I'm talking about the betters. I'm assuming they were betting too. They were talking about losing money. Well, you have to pay to watch the tournament. Hmm, guess that does count. Yeah, uh, no, we actually had a, uh, we run mm -hmm. we run a betting booth down here too not with our money it's it's hooked up to the coliseum officially so all clean mm -hmm. we had a man who lost a trillion gill betting oh. on uh children <laughs> during the tear fight meaning he would have it would have paid out a trillion to him if he had won the bet we matron So, yeah, 
Look yeah. At that. I saw that. Was it one of the monitor monotorists? Monitorists. He, he monotorists. looks at you and goes, How much money do you think Aperneus brings in? We're the primary trade port of the world. Fair. He goes, We are the only trade port in Eorzea that can take in Doman and Garlean ships. We are unfettered by any of the current wartime laws. And we are a safe haven for how many of these tribes? Uh, yeah, a number of them. I think our annual G uh, GDP is somewhere in the range of, oh, 750 quadrillion gil. <laughs> Even Limsula means I can't claim that much. I'm oh, pretty sure it. Hunt would have an aneurysm hearing that. <laughs> he just kind of smiles. I'm oh. making money. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the upper names know how to make it. It's called Treat the Customer Like King. Honestly, just the progressive hiring practices should be and go throughout the realm. <laughs> should be. They aren't. But they should be. Unfortunately. Anyway, do you all have anything else you need? No, uh, but feel free to come by the homestead anytime you want. I'll see you about that. You always welcome. I'll see you about that. I would like to see this pandemonium I've heard so much about. Ah, <laughs> oh, so let us be curious. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised about that. He takes off his hat, kind of bows a little bit, wiggling his white ears and looks back up and goes, Lady Fionn, I didn't even have to listen very hard. A bar run by some of the most popular gladiators that Aperneus has ever seen. Relatively close. And in a pristine location. Next to Hot Springs. You're the talk of the town. <laughs> Not to mention every other city-state from here to Voreal. Well, except for the Vorealians. I don't really know anything about them, or what's going on there. But there's been a few chit chats here and there with uh, Ish Guardians as well. I really don't. Yeah, yeah I can hug a thing, so I haven't been. A tourist spot. Cutting his brilliance for funding are set up enough. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of chuckles, nods his head over to him. Indeed. So, I believe that you all have a contest to get to, and I have a martini to finish, <laughs> and a waitress to enjoy. <laughs> kind of sets it aside and walks off. Thank you again, Lux. Just oh, kind of let's keep you. waves. <laughs> oh, let's get going. I don't want to have yeah, Gideon waiting. And. Use the, use the place. So you all head out? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, for the sake of it, I'm going to say, Yedrin, you you got the stuff without much issue. No one really messes with you. A few people will, like, look, and there's, like, a split second. It's like, that's the dragon of the sea. Go get her autograph. She looks like she'll fucking eat me. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her. <laughs> You're like, oh. no, 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 no. I heard she's single. She would eat me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just cue Lion King. She's gonna eat me. <laughs> it's like. So no! <laughs> if you like her so much, you go to the basket. 
no, 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 she's not my type. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not your type? It's like, you got a thing against all around women? Oh, no. It's like, <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 I just, I just prefer my women small. How much smaller do you want her? <laughs> that one. I prefer my women not to be able to toss me around to like a rag doll. For my, for my women not wielding axes that are twice as big as I am. He's like, yeah, I have a thing for Lollafells. It's like... <laughs> it's messed up, dude. And then at that, uh, uh, what? <laughs> you said what, Mike? <laughs> Thank you, Kato. <laughs> just Lollafells are FBI agents. <laughs> just silence. Like, okay. Like a couple of kids like run by Edrin a few times, like How you get so strong? <laughs> oh god, that, that was not that good. How you get so yeah, strong? You eat meat. Meat. <laughs> How'd you get so strong? I ate everything. <laughs> eat your veggies, kids. Uh, it's like, and a quadruple eat. portion of protein. <laughs> I was gonna say it's probably something like eat well, lots of training. Yeah. And drugs. Lots of drugs. <laughs> we don't mention those, Paul, though. <laughs> lots of lots of psychological trauma. <laughs> and the brain damage. Wrong. And the brain damage. <laughs> and the Dane damage. <laughs> you uh Yedrin comes back to the Summer's Lullaby where Yurabe is like sitting down. He's not helping anybody. And you just see like the ninjas are actually out, just kind of like rushing, getting tea and everything. He's just kind of like waving himself down with a little fan. Aww. He just kind of like looks up, like eye twitches at Dak. And he just closes his eyes and nods. Mm -hmm. Dak just nods, like, yep. Mm hmm. She thinks we're doing better than he is, but... So, are we all meeting back up at the summer's for a little while? Yeah. Bye. Okay. So, how do you go on your end? Um... Uh, it... Dad, Dad had good reason to, uh... to, to drop from the tournament. Everything, it, it's, else, everything is currently fine. Don't have to worry about that situation. Nothing serious. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Oh, Sophia, I've got your scrolls for you. Hands those over. Excellent. Fionn un unrolls them and starts copying them into her spellbook. Right. Okay, you do that. What else you guys doing? Mm. I was going to say, how much time do we have? Deck. Yes. Level 1d4. 1d4. 1d4, 1d4. Okay. You guys got two hours before the contest starts. Yay! Woo. Woo. <laughs> Well, if we're gonna be at, if we're gonna take a few hours, was, do we want to get anything on our stomachs before we head on over? Probably should. Just, you know, stop before an hour till. I think I'm gonna see if I can see some of the competition. Maybe we'll figure out who we're up against. Okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna go see if I can find a certain magic item to help my clothing issue. Of course. If you can get a flotation vest from me as well, that would be wonderful. Flotation what? Flotation vest. Yes, oh, flotation. Life vest. <sighs>
Actually, never mind. Mm. I've got my. Okay. Um, so are, I'm just looking for like a. What is a sleeves of many garments or something like that? Sure. Get one of those. A bit cheap. Mm hmm. Fionn flips through a grimoire again and says, I think I'm going to actually stop by the magic shop myself, if that's all right. Well, as long as you show up in time. Do not worry about that. <laughs> Don't cheat. Ugh, roll 20, you take something long. But yeah, other other than the, the sleeves thing, I don't need anything. Okay. <sighs> Is there anyone around selling little, like, viewing binoculars? Sure, I'll give you a pair of binoculars for a hundred gil. Okay. I just see the Kato with those little opera, opera glasses things, <laughs> like the little things on the stick. Oh, yeah, it's quite. Mm, mm, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, ho, would you look at the title to bomb on that Makote? Mm. <laughs> Don't tempt him. They look farther away. Works are holding them backwards. Oh. Damn. <laughs> also, we all know Kato would do that. <laughs> I mean, do you remember the uh, summer event from a couple years ago? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to admit, the bodybuilders are definitely up Kato's alley. No. <laughs> They'll be up there, Ali. Also, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I am. That's okay. Fixing stuff up for y'all. That's fine. That's okay. No. Um, Ark, is it all right if I? Yeah. Uh, for permission to copy from someone's spellbook instead of a scroll in this case. Do you want to copy from someone's spellbook? Spellbook, yeah. Uh, There's here's a rolling on it in the magic roll. Okay, so you're trying to copy from someone else's book. Uh, then can't get the rest of us actually use the spellbook. You can that's... sit and talk with Millie. How's that? <laughs> that's gonna say she have overland flight. No, but Millie and Scotch are basically my conduits. They are my spell book. I mean, yeah, but can you prepare a flight yourself? Yes. It's a level five spell. Are right. how would you roll that? Um, if I had the Heaven's Wandering Spirit, I have it as a optional spell, spirit spell. If they, if it can be part of your spell book, mm -hmm. I will allow it. However, it takes double the amount of time that would require you to copy it from another one because you're having to go from an oral tradition to a written tradition. Also, you're dealing. Okay, with yeah, way. that's fair. I think I'll just. Pay the 125 gill fee. <laughs> okay. Or higher. Okay. Uh, Fionn, you said yes. you also wanted to see who your competition was? If Fionn had the time yet. Uh... I'll say you got 30 minutes before you have to report. So. 
Make a roll. Oof. Ten. <laughs> Ooh. You walk down there, and uh, you get distracted by a certain piece of art that you're very ashamed to admit awakened things inside of you. <laughs> it is an artist's rendition of Skull as a ripped ass wolf man. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I mean, isn't he wolf? And it is wow. not safe for work. <laughs> Weep. Oh. Can we get a copy of the painting? No. God. <laughs> I also found to give that to Kato as a consolation prize. <laughs> 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 but then Skull sees it and you probably burn it. Are you kidding me? Um, <laughs> roll another perception check while you're like examining this, Fion. Oh god, he painted it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 27 this time. You're kind of like looking at it and admiring it for a second, and then you kind of like look back and you kind of see this like. Half Lalafell, half Elves and Crossbreed. Kind of sitting in the back doing a painting. And she looks up. You see her face turn red. And then you look around and there are nudes of the entire party in there. Oh, oh my. <laughs> There's a nude of like every competitor <laughs> inside of the little stall. Oh my. Oh no, fan art. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, she found the I must say I'm quite impressed with their talent, but perhaps we can discuss licensing fees after this competition. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, know, it smiles the most vague smile ever. You see the girl just kind of like... <laughs> like a little dab of paint on the brush. It like sits there like looks at you and just kinda like starts making a few lines. Oh my god. Oh look. Our created our creating the very first version of Deviant Art. Oh what god. did you say? <laughs> Fion, Fion, what did Fion say? Uh, she said, I'll be seeing you later. She you catch part before that though. <laughs> She just kind of like nods. You did catch part about the licensing fees, right? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, good. Oh my god. Ah, uh, blackmail. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, I'd probably head down early anyway, just for the hells of it, so I guess I could look around too. I'm not as interested in scoping out the competition, but... Okay. Eh, let's see what I find. 38. Um... Y'all eyes deep. Yeah. You look around, um, and you see Ark and the twins kind of laughing with each other, um, oh, no. enjoying uh, what looks to be like a, a bowl of like Low Country Boil. Lots of crawdads. Nice. Um, then, like across the way, like a street over, like in a little gelato stand, you see Galahad, Lancelot, and Siegfried just chilling out. Uh, oh. You see, like, there's a lot of Namazu in Sahagen. <laughs> a lot. And there's some janky looking Namazu. There are Namazu that are about, like, Fion's size. 
Ew. Super elongated, so they like kind of wobble as they walk. Hmm. Um, with like black stripes down them, and then there's like orange variants. Like, <laughs> I just burned most of my Arcanist Reservoir with that. But, Do what? No, I, I've got plenty of spells. Oh, I burned most of my Arcanist Reservoir just swapping that spells. <laughs> okay. But I can do the spells at least. Um. So as you, you continue to look around, you see like, you can see that everybody has pulled up to either watch or compete at this point, including Rowan, Kato, and Works. Um, I said you're there to watch. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, otherwise you're not really seeing a whole lot. You okay. see works with like a big plate of sausage and sauerkraut with pretzel, <laughs> with like pretzel buns, um, big like 24 ounce container jug of beer in front of him like frothing over like it's starting to like sweat in the autumn heat big thing of like stone ground mustard i'm just here enjoying the music <laughs> meanwhile you see kato is like looking through his binoculars just Staring at Lancelot's ass from a distance. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> uh, hey. He's still got a cute butt. Hush. <laughs> uh, you do see Kato has, like, gotten a big pole of, a uh, uh, black pasta. He's got some shrimp kind of nestled on top of it. Just, everybody's just kind of chilling. Rowan, of course, has bacon. <laughs> bacon it's and bacon-flavored ice cream. Oh, and God. ice cream wrapped in bacon and fried. Oh, God. And then bacon bits instead of sprinkles. Uh, anyway. So. so the popcorn she just says a bowl of bacon. <clears throat> No, she has popcorn with butter and bacon salt. There's no, there's no replacement for popcorn. She got popcorn, and then she got another bowl that's just like snipped bacon into like little pieces. Eat that like popcorn. Um, if anything, Dak will, Dak will go around and say hi to the guy. But other, other than that, it's, you know, it's just going around saying hi. And just greeting them before going over to where Yedrin and Flynn are. So you're just saying hey to everybody? Yeah. I am being, I am being the nice little diplomomancer. Okay. Uh, I see you got time to go talk to two groups. Okay, so the first one would obviously be Ark and the Twins. Gotta go say hi to family. You walk over and you see Ark just kind of like... Just... But, like, between his thumb and his forefinger just, like, pops the head off of a crawdad. Like, yanks the brain out and just starts, like, sucking on it. And he turns his head and looks at you. What's up, Dak? Oh, nothing much. Uh, are you competing in the boating as well? Yeah. At that point, he like <laughs> pops one of the crawdads out and shoves it in your mouth. Takes it out. Uh, I don't feel like eating before the boating. Mostly just suck on the spices. Yeah, that's fair. Mm. Should have kind of suck on a little bit. Mm. So it's it's got a it's 
real nice Cajun flavor, lemony, little sparks of pepper and paprika kind of mm. dance off your tongue. And there's like the little sweetness of the brain juices. <laughs> yeah. I see you have some ringers. <laughs> it's just smiles of the twins. They go, they like speak in unison. They go, we can beat every year. We always want to show off our craft. Oh, I, I didn't get to see it last year, so. <laughs> well, there wasn't one last year, but uh, mm -hmm. when they do have them, we always compete. Oh. This year, we're hoping to win. We got a little screwed last year. Oh. We didn't expect one of our competitors to make a functioning cannon. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> mm. oh, poor Jeremiah. Uh -huh. Right on the chin. Mm. Ow. Oof. Either way, see you. Uh, we're seeing at the summer's lullaby if you wanted to come by at some point. Well, we could come visit, but we were planning on heading back to Gridania as soon as this contest was over. Well, in the morning, rather. Okay. And she kind of like, she goes over and she gives him each a hug. They like pull her up and like make a sandwich with her. Mm, yay. <laughs> Art just kind of laughs. <laughs> the potato needs hugs. She needs to be tinfoil wrapped in Makote. Yes. Anyways, I was going to go say hi to, to Lancelot and the others. Good luck. They walk off. Mm -hmm. yeah, or you walk off. At this point, like, Fionn comes back around. Just intersects you on the street. Ha! Oh, is it, is it time to go? It should be just about. Oh, I was going to go say hi to, to Lancelot and the others over there. And she just, like, points over at him. Well, feel free. I should get to work on drafting the plans for the book. Uh, okay, um... Well, just let me know what I have to do, okay? You walk and over it, and you can see. Well, uh, I'm gonna try and be sneaky about it and try and sneak hug uh, Lancelot. Hmm. My hug senses are tingling. What? He's <laughs> ambushed me with hugs before. Oh, that was my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bruh. Squeaky butt. So I got a 19. Which is actually pretty decent. Oh. God damn it, Lancelot. Why did I not put ranks in your perception for? You have seven open ranks. <clears throat> I didn't edit my character sheet. <laughs> okay. As you like <laughs> crouch walking. Like, up to her. There's this moment of silence. And then your foot hits a puddle. Kind of like behind him, maybe like five feet behind. You take a step. And then you feel Lancelot's arms wrap you up from behind. He like jumps out of the puddle. <laughs> ah! Squeals and starts kicking. Ah! Not fair. <laughs> I'm just kind of like <sighs> big squeeze. Hi, I just wanted to say hi before the competition. Hello. I want to try and get you back for all the stealth hugs. Never. <sighs> I see. We shall have to fight again. Well, I mean, with, with hugs. With hugs. <laughs> Hug fight. 
<laughs> we will hug, hug it. We will hug it out to the death. <laughs> hug fights. Everyone wins. <laughs> they like put you down. You see Galahad and Siegfried just kind of like look down. Then you see Percival and Gawain and Talizin kind of like hovering over like what looks to be like a little sketchbook. They're like, okay, so we gotta I'm just all stare at you. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I'm not here to listen in or anything. I just wanted to say hi. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be going now. You look and you can see, like, Gawain's, like, still, like, bleeding from, like, half of his face. He's like... Would you like a bit of healing? I mean, they got me pretty good. Okay. Like, you look again, you see his eyes red. The entire mm. eye is red. Oh, <laughs> Uh, either way, good luck. <laughs> she toddles over to where Yedron and Fiona are. Alrighty. So, Yedron, Fiona, Dak, are you ready to race? Oh, yeah. Ready to make a ship and ready to, to ship. First. <laughs> you have an hour. <laughs> build your ship. Dylan gets a folding chair and kicks back for like the first 50 minutes. Ah! Don't get cocky. Knock oh, on. Let's get. Let's send these things Don't out. Worry, I have everything under control. You look at the twins. They basically they give you a big pile of metal and wood and rope and all this other stuff. You look over at the twins, they're like sitting there arguing over the fucking finish of the ship like 30 minutes into it as they have built like a fully functional like Corvette yacht. They're like, God damn. <laughs> all right, like, all right. You're like, you look over and they're like, man, come on, we can't do the dragon finish again. Oh but my that God. is my thing. Man, we have oh. got to put some fucking reinforcements in it and spend some more time on that. You want a cannonball to go through it again? Oh, it's like, we're not really here to win. We're here to sell luxury items. But think about what we can do with the money. <laughs> Scans up and stretches while the exchange happens. So what are we doing? The big pile of materials, <laughs> flips through a spell book, and begins. Meanwhile, you look over, like, Lancelot, Galahan, and, uh, <laughs> Siegfried, and they've basically, like, made a raft. <laughs> Dak, could you care to give me some guidance? Uh, what do you want me to do? I'm out of character. I think cast guidance. Oh, guidance, guidance, right, that's... Wait, where's my guidance? Don't I have guidance? Yeah. I haven't used it in a while. Why is it not on my list? Oh, it's a bug. Let me... I usually have that... on. It's a plus one to any attack, single attack, same throw skill check, and it's a level zero spell, so it's literally just a cantrip. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm just confused why I have light, but I don't have guidance on. Can I just say I used it? Sure. Hell. It's okay. Yeah, it's toss, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, toss any skill check you want on there. Skill check bonus, I think. Yeah. As long as it's not another luck bonus. And so... Do you know that, like... A conductor at an opera extends her hands and starts chanting as she manipulates the wood and metal to weave itself together into a double hauled compartmentalized structure with reinforced fore and aft masts on a lined metal bottom mm -hmm. inside the double hull 
and a good few reinforced irons for to string rope through and bear the weight of the entire ship off upon it. Okay. Jack just kind of stares like, I was just going to make a Bad. raft. Fabricate. <laughs> okay, so you tip to make this. Fabricate. Oh boy. Not too bad. Feel free to aid if you want. <laughs> Just with like a craft roll or something? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I have masterwork tools. <laughs> I was gonna say, at least it's gonna make all the, like, ropes and stuff really good. <laughs> okay. Fionn, with your 20, and with everything that you just asked for, <laughs> you get, like, Half of it in the time frame. No. That, the thing is, the spell she's casting doesn't require matter how complex it is. It's still only like 60 seconds. Yeah. She has 30 minutes. I want you to look at the size of the boats. They are pretty Let's big. Let's see here. Oh yeah, wow, I did not expect to be that big. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, that's why I was Spider like, oh, you're gonna chill out for <laughs> for 30 minutes? Okay. No. Well, one, we didn't expect the boats all be this size, because we would think it would be partially dependent on what they make. Like, if you make a raft, yeah. I don't your boat would be I don't, huge. I will, I will let you do what you asked for at half size, but you're gonna have half the hit points of everybody else. Great. I'll double cast. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say I'll assist again if you need to do the roll. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Always check shit first. Mm. Well, it's weird because it's like you're building boats. You wouldn't expect anyone to have everyone to have the same health points and size because it's all going to be dependent on the builders. Oh, there's a, there's some extra shit. Yeah, but. Your health pool is going to be a bit larger depending on the size of the vessel. Mm. Namely because oh, they've geez. only got to go through Not they've only got to go through one point. Well, that's why I'm doing a compartmentalized build, so I have to hit it several times. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, we can just mend the holes they make. While they're trying to make others. If we don't, it's something. How, wait, how big is this thing all? Well, maybe if you fully at the point. And it's 80 by 4. I hate cubic feet measurements because it's hard to tell what that means. Mm. Okay, Fionn. Yeah? Essentially, you construct a long ship. I'll take it. You've got, uh... Your ship has hardness 5, AC 2... But it's got 675 uh, hit points. Ow. Yeah, that works for us. Mm -hmm. Well, she for, did double cast. Hmm. For comparison, the twins built a sailing ship. Hmm. All the same shit. They have 900 HP. Wow. But 
And Fion adds one finishing touch. Which is? <laughs> on the sail. You put your mark on the sail? Yep. Alright. So... And also she casts this on herself. Overland <laughs> flight. So, Fion, since I'm assuming you're captaining the ship, <laughs> roll initiative. Ooh. And my rolls are really crapping out. So. Okay. So. The starting whistle goes off. And the ship's... Hang on. <laughs> Everyone starts to... Uh, Begin lurching forward. You know, starting off slow because they are boats. Yeah, uh, salivation is a problem. Mm -hmm. uh... And At that point, you see the uh, you see the suns kind of doing their thing. At which point, you just watch Lancelot jump in the water and vanish. Oh no! Adrian, I believe that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, do y'all take us on to the same time, our character? Yeah. I was gonna say. What if you got a taste? What if you got enlarge or at least enlarge? I I have enlarge. Okay, Fio. Yes. Your maximum speed is 120 feet. You can accelerate at 30 feet a turn if you're using the current and muscle, or 15 feet only if you're using muscle. Wait, I thought I added masts and sails. I'm assuming current counts the wind. Oh yeah, okay. On that case... Bam. Huh. Let's crank this shit up. <laughs> Here, I was gonna use pressurized stream behind us. <laughs> oh, I was gonna, well, I was gonna say, Touch, but... You still could probably should use a knowledge on me, because if part of the oh, plan yeah. was... Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I got you, fam. Woo, 11 minutes. And at this point, I'm also going to be... Um... Here's where they think it's interesting, because... Because I'm going to be... Grabbing some, uh, what would you say it is, like chains and bolt and tackle and stuff you have attached to the front, and... Start pulling. Yep. And here's where things get interesting, since I have a natural sim speed, I can run and model. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and... Say, you know, start chopping our book in half. At least with the gust of wind, we're already getting... A good speed going, so you don't have much resistance to fighting that. Nope. And my run, if I not in heavy encumbered, reaches 160. Gross. <laughs> and the fact this man can carry, and this woman can carry an airship on her back, I'm pretty sure this is not encumbered. <laughs> okay. Uh... She could only carry the. So, Airship. they're both going to speed up significantly. <laughs> so, so, you should try to start chopping some, you know, bombs and boats off. Yeah, Drin, the, the, feet, <laughs> the feet measurement is not an accurate representation. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, that makes me as faster than even the warship at mask speed. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna point this out. Um, at this point, like every every t every ten feet of this is like a couple miles. Jeez. Hmm. Uh, so that's why I said haste if you want, because that debugs me even faster. Well, I mean, I, I figured we only had one around, so I figured in large person would be better first. Yeah, no, you can do it next to one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's at this point you start hearing boom, boom, boom. Off in the distance. <laughs> oh dear. Speech. Speech. I'm going to try to pinpoint the trajectory of those cannon shots. Oh, so I just thought of this, so I have to point it out. I'm basically pulling a soldier. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I thought when you mentioned it. You also suddenly hear and just watches one of the boats just engulfs into a fireball as lightning strikes it. And that mm -hmm. might be Ark. I hope he's feeling charitable. Mm. There is no mercy in this dojo. He on size and starts flipping through her spell book. <laughs> we shall have to see. Uh, feel roll perception. Uh, another one. Yeah, I got a twenty throughout the last one. Oh, oh you, you just look over and you just see, you just see like this boat, like a lightning bolt comes from the sky and like the boat just ignites on fire. You just see the entire thing just burning, and you're like. I'm assuming he's not feeling charitable today. Mm. You look over and you can also see, like, um... Two boats up from Ark. You can see, like, cannonballs, like, flying over. <laughs> yeah, Fionn's just... Trying to track if they're going towards us or someone else. They're going all over the place. Also, I realized that I put Galahan in the water instead of Lancelot. Oh, Galahan's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it wasn't Percival. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, Galahan's the icy a... boy, isn't he? Yeah, roll a perception on that, Dak. Let's see if you see him. Callahan's just Holy. kind of running across the water. Yeah, you, you see him. Pulling Elsa. Hello? No. Okay, is it like a fresh <laughs> turn again? Nope. Okay, ch nah, checking. Not just yet. That point. Dak, you see this. Fionn's tension's uh -huh. the other way. He lifts a hand up and goes... And you just see this... Gigantic oh, wave can... come right in front of Yedrin. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot to mention it beforehand, but Fionn has left her have a sack with Rowan. Okay. <laughs> um... So he just goes, he just waves to you, and then you just see the tidal wave come up from in front of Yedrin in the front of the boat, and just hit against the boat. Ah! Uh, Yedrin, you're in the water, so I say it doesn't really bother you too much. I was going to say... Yoda and Jack make a reflex. I was going to say, I could... 
16, not good. Uh, you both oh. fail. You both fail that. Okay, you're <laughs> you're both flung five feet back. Bah! Um, and your boat decelerates and moves back five feet. Or in this case, I'm going to say one square. Mm-hmm. Uh. Just clutches it and lets go of the ship and falls back in the water. He unturns and just sighs and shakes her head with a smile. Well, I'm glad my spell looks waterproof. Yeah, that's good. Alright, uh, that brings it back to you guys' turn. Uh... Oh, since we're currently operating on Yedrin's muscle power at the moment, Fionn goes to the front while she flips through her spell book and starts fast studying to prepare communal resist energy. Hmm. Um, I mean, I guess since requested. And mm. it is requested. I have the lore on there because I'm using it off of the lore spirit. Is Yedrin in rage? Hmm? I don't think Yedrin's in rage. Oh, you can always move off. Yeah. You can always move off. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I go, I go to the front. Sorry, I didn't move just my like, character. Just like dripping wet, like covered in water. Cast. Fuck. <laughs> Haste! <sighs> and let me adjust. Okay, so. My speed is now 280. Holy shit. We are now moving. <laughs> Double the wash. Like. Double the like way faster than the fastest ship in the vehicle section. Okay. Also, for the shits and giggles deck, use the sleeves to make herself a wetsuit. <laughs> Fiona's uh, yeah, glamour so, is yeah, currently so you unaffected can... by the water, and she's wearing a bodysuit underneath it. So, yeah. yeah. Jedrin, I'll say you can move anywhere with you can move the ship anywhere within a hundred and forty feet of yourself. Damn. Holy Damn. shit. Yes, kid cat. I love you. Uh-huh. But now I think it's mostly just trying to gain distance. So, 140 within my, with me, so, yeah. Yeah, you can move that and the ship will be there. like 10 feet beyond you. There. I have made a marker, kind of. If you wanted to, your character. Like I said, mostly just gaining distance to make it hard to do bullshit because we're going to be out of range. You like, hope. Just, I, we hope. Hey, the thing is, if go go ahead, Andrew. Oh, that's good. sorry. No, you go ahead. Uh, because it's it's kind of like an off-topic thing. Hmm. Uh, Fion. Yeah. Can I have? A dull roll of diplomacy to see if he got the see if he convinced you to like let him take a bite of Nidhogg's scale. <laughs> sure, and I can do a sense mode of inner. Can I just have a little nibble? Just a little nibble. Sure, hang on. Just 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 a little on the <laughs> Um, just to point this out, I think we're going faster than a speedboat. <laughs> No. We are such fucking cheaters, but that's the name of the game. I mean, it's not really cheating, considering. We just have a good combination, that's all. I'm pretty sure we'd be a little bit uh, worse off if we didn't have someone who could fucking pull the boat. 
Yeah, I can't just spam Gust of Wind forever. <laughs> yeah, I was I gonna mean, use there, it. there's nothing stopping anybody else from doing that shit. Yeah. They just need to have someone that can pull a boat. Because mm-hmm. sadly, haste, you can't apply haste to a boat if you can apply it to a draft animal. Would you say a doll gets any modifiers against you? He's adorable. Uh, I'd say he gets a plus two circumstance bonus. Okay. Practically family. 30. 29! Oh. oh my god. He, he put the kitty eyes on you. Okay, he can have a nibble. He used pretty please. <laughs> um, oh my god. Get off no. the Before he used pretty please, he used pretty please. <laughs> Before the, uh, I'm going to say before the tourney, he came and approached you, and he did say that he was looking to get stronger and that he felt that he could get something out of consuming a bit of Nidhogg. Um, To that end, he took um, a male pinky-sized shard of the scale and ate it. So like a little chip of it. Yeah. So yeah, he rolled a 15. Nice. So then it was 13 plus 2. At this point, Yedrin, you pull the ship forward, kind of like jerking... Uh, Fion and Dak along with you. Because you two are going so fast at this point and you're not used to sailing, I need both of you to roll in acrobatics. Ah! Four! But it's okay, I'm flying. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, if um, little, let her legs go out from underneath her and maintain... Uh, you just kind of, like, maintain where you are. Dak, you, like, roll over the boat, lifting straight up. You, like, grab one of the boards before you go flying into the water. <laughs> I want to tell her to slow down, but I don't! <laughs> you see the other two kind of, like, trailing in your wake, trying to keep up. <laughs> I can only imagine the lake off a thing the size of a long ship going at speedboat speeds. Oh my god, we'd be like spraying into their freaking boats. <laughs> Mew. It's really too bad Create Pit is in an extra dimensional space. Um, you look over and you can see that, uh, the twins and Ark are still ahead of you, but only very slightly. Mostly because it looks like the twins have been doing their thing and keeping the boat going forward, while Ark is just like, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, by the fury of Thor. <laughs> So, with that being said, that's like kind of looks over, looks to where Yedrin and you all are, and kind of like scratches his head as he bobs in the water for a second. Starts to think. He goes, hmm. That's better. Let's 
good music mm-hmm. yes mm. I am going to regret this very deeply <laughs> stabs Yedrin teleportation I'm guessing if there's a body of water anywhere, he can teleport through it as a move action. Okay. So hey, just... I'm guessing. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, I'm guessing that does... I was going to say, guessing that doesn't provoke an AO. No, it's like normal teleport. He just pops up, he's like, hi! <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I think. I thought I thought I'd ask before, but I had planned on having my shadows out before the base started. Too late to retcon? Yeah. He missed you anyway. He rolled a twenty-three. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that couldn't even be yeah, Jordan's flat footed AC. Yeah, he's not um <laughs> he's not all that strong. <laughs> However, he's still like trying to like grab you. <laughs> Why are you so strong? <laughs> Just in train of stairs, like, why are you so strong? <laughs> well, I'll let Fio- Well, when it gets to us, I'll let Fiona and Todd go first if they want to do anything about that. Um, I'll say it is now... It's now almost back to you. I've got to see one other thing real quick. Right onto the ship around the sails, hailstones start falling onto the ship. Ow! No. Uh, is there any way to see who it came from, or was that Lancelot? Uh, it's not Lancelot. You look God. over under the ship, and you see Galahad. He's like. Mm. Mm. This is more annoying than anything, really. Hmm. Okay, uh, you guys take 22 points of damage. Uh, how are we keeping track of that? Are we- is it like us, us, or- You, you. Okay. Just making sure. It is now raining and pelting snow onto the ship. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So Whoa. now it's back to you guys. Yep. You know what? We're not being lightning bolted yet, but... Hmm... Fuck it, it's not like we'll be that close in range anyway, so... Fionn's going to return to the front and cast Communal Resist Energy. Lightning Resistant. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm like, oh, oh, they want to play. They want to play? Okay, let's play. Uh, Bismarck's tear on them. (laughs) Yes. 
Oh, that's some nice rain. Here's rain. <laughs> Roll your damage. Uh, I thought it did. Okay. It did. He just watches the, the raft breaks, and they just like, whoop. <laughs> I'm so hoping for at least tossing them off. They're just like floating on the things. So They're like, we really shouldn't have let Kyle Wayne design this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> no, bloosh. That's not mean the all out. You see Lancelot, you see like Lancelot like, like go and goes, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if they didn't, if he didn't hail on us, if he, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have done that. That point, he just like, he just like gets up and like sits on Yedrick's shoulders. Onward, seahorse! <laughs> dragon! Sea dragon! <laughs> Just wool, so wool size with buttons with it, and it's just gonna keep moving them forward. Put at what? At at speed. Okay. Uh, you know After taking a moment to look and make sure the hatches are battened, Fion does comment. Very nice shot. Should I start attacking the others then? If you'd like. Oh, I have some spells from the tourney that I didn't get to use. I can move 140 <laughs> on this board. Hey, can, actually, can someone mark, keep that mark just because it's... Oh, one sec. Uh, Ten ahead of the boat. There. Yep, thank you. Onwards, horse! <laughs> yeah, I gotta start making an angle soon. That was actually a really nice damage on the roll for mine. Yeah, that was, was like exactly five. the amount of health the boat had. <laughs> five, 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 one, five. <laughs> you suddenly hear a... <laughs> off in the distance. Oh, dear. Uh, Fion. Yes? I will say that you can try to see what it is. All right, then. Oh, wait, perception or... Not perception. Crap. Okay. 29. You kind of look across the water, and you see, like, several after images of a white-haired Makote, like, just zooming across the water. Oh, no. And I'm glad I set up the resistance. Uh, would someone do me a favor and mark that point, please? Uh, Which point? I didn't see it. Uh, go out again? Uh, here? Yep, thank you. Hmm. Woof! <laughs> Just flying in a straight line. <laughs> Oh, I do hope he comes closer. <laughs> I enjoy the thing. Uh, <laughs> you guys. The other ships were like, fuck this! <laughs> oh my god, already it's just the two of us? Well, there's only three other ships in the race, and they're like watching the shit you guys are doing, they're like, ah, fuck that! Yeah. I don't feel like yeah. dying today. <laughs> Where you wanted to go, Yedrin? Uh, uh, sadly, I have to go somewhere close at all because we gotta start tawning to reach the highland. Mm -hmm. It's okay, we've got a lot of hit points, and I've got a strat. Or at least angling to reach the island. Uh, 
Can I get a mark, please? Oh. Here? Yep. I have to admit, that's the easiest thing to do is just have someone else mark it for you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I didn't move you guys up. <laughs> oh. Yes, little brat. Oh. <laughs> and all I see is a little snake tail. Mm -hmm. Snack. He just stares off into the distance. And here we go. <laughs> Sits down. What's up? Ah, <laughs> uh, hopefully not our ship. He looks over at Fionn and tosses a bottle of beer. Fionn catches it. <laughs> Want me to call that, off, call that off for you? That's quite all right. I'm... I shouldn't be drinking right now anyway. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> well, we, neither of us are driving. <laughs> No, but, well, I've been tossing around spells this whole time. Oh, come on, there's only the two of us now. Do you really think I'm going to strike you with lightning? Mm, Again. Cross my mind. Sense motive. <laughs> uh, roll for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Let's see if he even, I don't even know if he has bluff. <laughs> Oh, he does not. He rolled a natural 20 as well! Wow. <laughs> Granted, he only has a plus two to bluff, but you both rolled natural 20s. Just a couple of liars, no. <laughs> For all instances, the ones that 32 30. versus a 47. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Um, basically, I mean, I could pump in the nine ranks that he hasn't used in the bluff, but he's not really much for lying to people. Yeah. Um, do you look at him and he seems to be being dead honest with you. Like, he believes very much in the twin ship and isn't really, like, wanting to fuck around. Hmm, so should we just do a actual boating thing and not screw with each other's ship? At this point you look forward and you see Yedrin's like surfacing like a dolphin with Lancelot coming out every now and then. He goes, But I wanted to see what he could do! I mean, Yedrin is part of the boat at this point. <laughs> I part of the ship, part of the crew. Cat! You boy! <laughs> you saw how what he did to the other two ships. But it's, it's fun! Fun! <sighs> All the same, if you do try something, I will have to put you in time out, brother. <laughs> He looks at you and goes, I would eat all of your magic and then throw you into the ocean. <laughs> I'm just laughs. <laughs> at that point, he just kind of walks over and, like, tussles Dax's hair. <laughs> Her wet hair. I don't think anybody's gonna mess with us. He like looks out and goes, "Yeah, we're out of cannon range." That's good. But I zapped the Sahagin. Oh, I hope they're all right. Uh, looks like they swam to shore already. Okay. Uh, oh, so they were going to compete. Oh yeah, that's why I struck them with lightning immediately. Too. Good call. That kind of takes a couple acorns out of her bag. Ah, uh, 
So long as we're, you know, not, you know, attacking each other, that's good, because I didn't want to have to turn things into bombs. I kind of actually like the twin ship. <laughs> it is a good piece of work. Much better than not. Sparks, like, I didn't feel like unleashing the fury of the gods again. Yeah, please don't. This is... Somebody wants... Somebody's been wanting to play since, uh, Nom Nom. Mmm. Goodness. Well, for now, let the best racer... Let the best... Let the best racer win. He goes... Though I do have to make this a little more fair, I have to admit. Oh, what are you going to do? Raven Fiendfulman on Yedrin. <laughs> oh, come now. Edrin, roll, we'll save. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, not a will. Fortitude. This is a spell. Yeah, it's a spell. Spell cross draw Yennefer. <laughs> it's a level one spell. Or I told you, he's just doing it to be fair. Well, she. Well, which spell is in particular? It's Ray of Ray. the Mid. Oh, yeah. Well, Fionn's going to counter spell anyway, since all's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, popping. Uh, Arcanist Reservoir Point, a second level spell slot, and a cast spell check. 27. I mean, yeah, you cancel it. He just looks at you like... Are we gonna play like this? <laughs> I mean, I'd be extra mean. <laughs> Come now. You said it you said in all fairness, I have to be fair. We're not messing with your boat and technically Yedrin's part of the boat. <laughs> part of the ship, part of the crew. Indeed. Anyway, if you uncast gusts of wind on the sails again. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't want to mess with the other ship because I actually have quite a few spells that might be rather nasty. I was focusing on defense and taking out individual saboteurs like... Well, I can't say that's a lot. That was almost... So, yeah, getting extra bit of speed up for this round, Yadrin. Effion? Yeah? How much would you say a wall of iron would Give me a moment check wolf from Alpha. <laughs> Do what? Give me a moment check wolf from Alpha. <gasps> How big is the swallow of iron? Um... <laughs> 210 feet? Uh, thickness and... is that area or...? Uh, one inch... uh, so four... Three inches thick. Okay, three inches thick and 210 square. Who's casting it? So, weight of 52.5 cubic feet of iron. <laughs> A 
attack. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mark that point, please. Uh, okay. Just say the number for you. Thirteen short tons. Okay. Mark casts cast wall of iron on the ship. So he's just gonna sink the ship. I'd counterspell this, but it's a fifth level spell. Six, actually. Oh. Well, yeah, that's not something I can counterspell. At least it's a multi compartmented design, so we can theoretically still sail with half the ship. <laughs> he basically just outlines the wall of the ship with a wall of iron until it can't anymore, then just flies out. Um, I can actually... Here's a fun thing, because I'm acknowledged. Um, I pick up that wall of iron and just toss it. <laughs> oh my god. You can do what? Oh. <laughs> I, I can... Hold a breath. I can lift over 30,000 pounds. Okay, so hang on. 13 short tons. Yeah, uh, the... Eats it like a freak. So that, that's... Uh, 25,810. So okay. So I can literally heavy... It's on my heavy load, but I can literally grab it, lift it, and toss it. Oh my second. god. I gotta figure out the weight of the ship, too. Oy. The thing is, the walls aren't gonna be attached to the ship. Hip, unless you somehow fuse it into the ship. Oh, you mean stop moving and, like, just pick the wall up and throw it. Mm-hmm. Yep, I can... Okay, I misunderstood what you were saying. I thought you were saying, like, yeet the entire ship. And I was like, what? <laughs> that no, fun. it's just gonna yeet it at the... Yeet the wall at our ship. No, I can just yeet it behind us, and whoever comes up behind us can have fun with that one. <laughs> Alright, so... Ark has flown off. Um, the walls <laughs> the walls of iron just... Boom! Hit on the ship. <sighs> He sighs and holds her breath. He just yells back, I told you I was just gonna make it fair, but no! I oh. mean, he's, he's very too out of range for me to just toss it at him, so I'll just toss it behind us. So yeah, I guess... Uh, I'm not sure how many actions would that be, Fionn? I'd say the full round for the entire thing. Yeah. So though you're gonna rely on you to keep the get the boat keep the boat going decently fast, but Adrian noticing the sudden increase in weight, looks yeah. behind, sees the multi then turns around, comes out of the well all of it, grabs it and tosses it. No! Yes. Dumps it in the water. Ark's like... <laughs> Damn, she's scary. It's like... I really should just strike the water with lightning. <laughs> well, Yadra and Dag are protected, so... <sighs> uh... Do I really want to mess with them? Yeah, because it enlarge force and increases your carrying capacity in, in equal amounts to how much your rate of your stuff increases, which I'm pretty sure is a times eight fion. Yeah, factor of eight. Would you yep. uh, so, would you mark that for me, Dak? Yeah. Well, our votes our votes slow down a little bit this round. It's gonna be at like maybe a bit over its max speed just from um. Momentum, but I won't, I'm not pulling it for the hound. All right, you guys are starting. Um, I was gonna say, well, I didn't do anything that roundy, so let's see. Oh, I'm guessing Fiona is the one you still cast Gust of Wind. Fiona, at this point, considers her options. Let's see. Ow! Ow! Excuse me a moment. I think I've got to be playing 
with the fan. All right. So Fion is going to double move over towards Ark. Um, let's see, might be 140 feet, so divided by for the measurements. Which, that's right, he should be probably be about like right there. He just looks and looks over and goes, Hey! <laughs> oh, brother, that was a cute trick you played on us. Just kind of shrugs. Say, so, hey, I just want to sap a little strength. That was very cute. That was very clever, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Drin has certainly proved herself more than capable of. He goes, so we, uh, we're going on a date now, or are we actually going to do something? I suppose that's your call. He goes, I don't think Skull would appreciate it, but I'm down. We're family. Tom. He goes, I didn't suffer from sleeping with my brother. Kiyo holds up a finger, opens her mouth, <laughs> pauses, and, and just thinks on that one. <laughs> Dak, what are you doing? Let's just say that making it official, she's part of the family. <laughs> Oy, I'm I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Um, question: so, Could flying do a double? Uh, run thing? If you cast fly, no. No. But after, no, no, no. after you're already flying, yes. Uh, yeah, you can hustle when with a, when you have fly speed, but you can't do a full run for summer. Huh. What is hustle? Is that just double? Yep, that's double move. Oh. Well, I'm not the one who's flying. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to use the acorn variety of fire seeds. Oh, Gosh. um. Hmm? Did we not move forward from the last round? No, because Yedrin wind? couldn't. What about the gust of wind, at least? Did you cast gust of wind or did Dak? Yeah. Okay, you cast, cast okay, you cast the gust of wind. Yeah. Uh, I'll say like half. So seventy. Yeah, that's fair. Here. You were accelerated, but you kind of got the, hit, yeah. hit with a ton of weight, so you just kind of stopped. Yeah. That's entirely fair. It just it's all means we're moving at all. Yeah. Lance a lot just kind of like pops back out under the boat. <laughs> Onto the boat, and he goes, oh, That was rude. So, uh, Dak's gonna give these, uh, fire seed acorns to Scotch. Okay. Scotch can oh, move. 150. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, he can move up to 300. Remember how uh, that? Huh? Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, the mechanic thinks the double the length it actually is. Ah, okay. Uh, could someone mark that for me, please? Thank you. Right. Everybody mark the shit! <laughs> there, there. Ping, ping, ping. Wait, can you mark the line itself, or...? You can draw a line, but it's just easier to have someone else just, you know. Mm. Yeah, but I mean... Uh, 
Well, that's my turn. That just... Drawing a line and then... Mm. Okay. It just kind of like takes a very deep sigh and looks over at Scott. She goes, I don't really like hurting him. My poor suffering baby, but he's the fastest I've got. You know what, that's a bit beyond the agreed terms of fairness, but you did drop a wall of iron on us. Yeah, but I'm not going to let whatever that thing's planning to do to my brothers happen, so kind of like floats over towards him. He goes, hey, hey, Scotch. <laughs> Scotch, what you doing? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. He <laughs> hides hands. Nothing. <laughs> he goes, waves his hand. <laughs> uh, roll a will save for Scotch. Oh, Scotch. Honey. Scotch, what's that you have? A oh, knife. Um, no. <laughs> Scotch, what do you have? Oh, nice. Scotch fails. Aww. Oh, holy shit. Um, Art casts banishment on him. Uh. Poofs <laughs> away back to the ethereal plane. Yeah. <laughs> he basically desummoned him. At least it's temporary. <laughs> Yeah, like, I I honestly don't know how that works with the shaman spirits. You just bring them back? <laughs> yeah, well, it's like they're not summons, technically, but eh, whatever. It's, it just, uh, it just says it enables you to force extra planar creatures out of your home plane. Hmm. Great. My baby's gone. Boop. And acorns go into the sea and... <laughs> Ark looks down, he goes, Hey, Fionn? Yes? Truce for a second? Alright. And he just dives after the acorns. And Lance a lot, he goes, Oh, you guys want to still play? I'll get them! <laughs> <Just, laughs> Fionn does float over. Above the surface. Just. Ark's just floating there as well. He goes, Who's this kid again? He was one of the contestants. Uh, we kind of sank their raft, so he's just. Enjoy. That is the cinnamon roll. <laughs> um. I would say. I, I moved already, so yeah, Yedrin, you. Okay. I have got to win by any chance. <clears throat> At this distance, no. No, I mean, well, yeah. well, I, I, just, don't, I don't have gust of wind. But well, at this point, I'd be at, back up to full speed. Well, yeah, what, I was, not... what I was saying is, you two had taken your action. Yeah. Ark had taken an action. They had moved, so we're back to Yedrin being able to move. Hmm. Since Yezrin hadn't done anything. Yeah. That's true. And I can get myself the, myself and the boat back up to full speed. Go ahead and move yourself and I'll just move the boat behind you. Okay. Or I'll move I the don't... boat like 10 feet behind you, so... There we go. If yeah, someone wants to walk that real quick, just because it's... Oh. Well, remember, just 10 feet in front of the boat. Oh, yeah. It's just there's a lot of squares. Yeah. There you go. And if someone will return the favor for me real quick. Okay. So Ark's just kind of like floating there. He looks down at Lancelot. Looks back at Fionn. Goes, hmm. 
So, um... Yes? The fuck is up with her? Like, Jesus! Jesus! Jesus <laughs> running on water! What the fuck? Come on, don't give... Don't use his name in vain. <laughs> Fine! Oh, wait, Heidelin fucking the fuck! That's better. <laughs> or, 12 forbid, someone can answer, what the fuck is up with her? I'll be honest. No one knows. As best as I can tell, she's just really strong, and has developed more than a few interesting problems. Let's let pops onto the chip. Hands back, the acorns back. Uh, he really didn't have to do that gotch. At that point, Ark's just like, Ark's content to just float there and talk. He goes, by the way, spell or item? Hmm? He's talking to Fionn. Oh. Also, Yedrin, you can move. With regards to what? Flight. Oh, magic. Item? Oh, never mind, you cast a spell, gotcha. Yeah, it's, uh, it kind of, like, holds up a few feathers. He's like, yeah, kind of stripped Garuda a few times. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose that works, too. Works for enchantments. Yep. We all have our own ways. And Marky Mark, oh, please. Oh, I'll get quite far ahead. Oh, all right. Thank you. Fionn was going to toss another gust of wind their way before they sailed off, but that's a bit late now. <laughs> Ark's just like, nah. He goes, so, um, you and Skull going anywhere? We've got a uh, family gathering to attend to after the competition. I meant, like, you guys talking about kids? Uh, oh, serious, um... Anything like that? I mean, has he talked about putting a ring on it? Tion <laughs> just immediately flusters. All right, there have been talks about that, but I... What? You guys would have cute kids. We're working out details. Let's just say that much. I mean, he goes, it didn't stop you last year. I figured, you know, this would be a yearly thing. I'd be, like, trying every year. I don't know. <laughs> he um, just <laughs> turns rolling very red and buries her face in her hands. Twelve <laughs> above. Is it that obvious? <laughs> he goes, I was staying with you. I could hear you through the walls. <laughs> I swear to Thali, I come cast in Silent Table next time. He just like looks and he goes, I mean, it was cute as fuck, don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> Would that work if they weren't doing it on the table? <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's, oh, a, that's, a, that's, that's a shit for <laughs> That's shit for shit my players say. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh goodness. Andrew, yeah, you can move. Uh, okay. Uh, I was just asking for rules on the race check. Do you have to like touch the island? 
Yeah. I'll just get it distant. Okay. Well, that not really. Is... You don't really like. It's courtesy to touch, but it just makes it easier to turn around. Okay. Oh yeah, because nah, and then then turn it or yeah, turn it around the island or okay. Oh, hey. What do you know? Mm -hmm. It's just staying there. Huh. Did you shift click? I did. That do it. The heart just kind of like, folds his arms and goes, I don't understand why you all get so embarrassed about sex. Well, let's just, like, keep it a private affair, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like a dull and Dak. Everyone knows what they're doing. Yes, but they'd like their privacy about it, so... I'm going to respect him on that. Yeah, I suppose so. Just, I guess it's just the way that my family raised me. We, no one really ever had much privacy in that regard. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you get to the point where we touch it and start turning around. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and like turn you around. At this point, like, you can see the twins on the other side. Wave. Hi! Hey! <laughs> Me, like, see Lancelot look over and go, Your brothers are all so cute, Dak. I know. They are. Or just kind of like looks up and goes, Oh, uh, I think you guys are going to win. Really? You say so? You think so? Well, based on trajectories and everything else. Um, Not to mention we have like next to no live time on our ship. It just goes, <laughs> looking at everything that's going on here. You guys move slightly faster than my brother's ship. And I think over time, that's going to make all the difference. There you go. Right, yeah, Jordan, if you, uh, if you shift, if you shift click it, it'll just stay where it is. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, I wasn't sure if it stayed if I did that through, like, oh, this is, yeah, it stays through the thing. Okay. Hmm. I didn't know it cool. stayed to, it once it clicked off the ruler. Yeah, also at that point, argues. wait, Fionn? Yes? How much longer can you stay floating? Oh, I could do it for the rest of the day if I had to. Oh, alright. Didn't think it lasted that long. Well, it's a modified spell. It's not as fast as most typical flight, but it lasts a whole lot longer, so... It's good to have her around when you're expecting trouble. Uh, well, there's not much I can really do to help. More than I've already done. I mean, if you can make a maze behind us. Oh, okay. That's all I got. Just gets to, like, the back of the boat. It points her hands out, like, like... Okay, so she, like, lays at the back of the boat and points her hands towards the water to try and give it a little bit of bump. Okay. Eric has pressurized stream. Yep. 
Okay. I'll, mean, I'll say you can add another 20 feet. Are you, are you sure you've been consistent with the trend still? Because, dear God, they're going they've been go, They've been going 130 every round after the mm. third. One sixty. Yeah. Yeah. They have a. They also have a round of movement on you, Yedrin. Yeah, yeah. Point. I think that our movement's gonna make all the difference in the end, if anything. Lancelot just kind of goes. Mm. Technically, been riding with you guys, so. Well, at least you've been having fun, right? He casts Tidal Surge behind you. What does that add? Uh, considering it's a Tidal Wave... Uh, let me pull Tidal Surge back up. Title Surge, you got Title 4. It's a 5th level Shaman spell. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I do have Title Surge, uh, I just didn't mem it. Edrin. Yeah? You can add 60 to your movement. <laughs> and, Todd, do you cast Fresh Rise Stream again? I only had one casting of it. Okay, so 60 to my movement. Good. Yep. Is that 60 modified, or...? Nope, he just rides the 60 with it. He's, like, swimming with the with the wave. Yeah, I mean, just, like, is it effectively 30 in this case, or...? Based on the map measurements? No, I think, I think I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say full 60, yeah. Okay. Boosh. Don't run into that flaming boat. Eh, we find it's probably already sunk. So that means that the movement would end up with mm. uh Deck and Yedrin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you've been alongside the boat for so long, I would like the two of you to roll a perception. You both like look under the water and you realize they have a fucking motor on the back of their boat. <laughs> oh. Hmm. We have no room to talk. <laughs> They've got like a they got like a fucking garly and aether motor <laughs> underneath it. They're like, mm. you have a motor. We have a hunt. You have a Toyota. We have a Yamaha. <laughs> Thing is, they're still ahead because they got one torn, and I had to make a bunch of slower movements to actually towards the island. <sighs> Wait, how much movement did you sacrifice on the island? Well, every time I every time I had to make a slight adjustment, I oh! had to angle towards the island. That so not only did we lose a torn, we've probably been losing about 30 or 40 feet of movement every time I had to make an adjustment. Okay. Well, I mean, there's a good chance you'll overtake it with, with Lancelot's help, so... Lancelot's like, uh, up-tapped. Hmm. You don't have anything else you can help deck? Uh, I had a lot of things set for the freaking tourney, so... Hmm. That's why I, that's why I said you should ask if you were allowed to change around your spells as the refresh, because you knew you were coming into this next. Mm-hmm. 
I didn't know if that was a thing or not. I'm gonna say no. Uh, I didn't go to sleep. I just had to cheat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I figured that much. Out spells from my class teacher. Um, question. If I say you guys are behind us, could we ride that, ride that wave? Sure. I'll say it's I'll say it's ten because it's an area of effect that goes every which direction. Yeah. Well, I mean, I figured the water would at least push us. Okay, so you can add ten, Yedra. Yeah, you know, just keeps watching. Like, I feel like I should intervene on this. Art just looks and goes, "I will throw you under the water." You know what? I'm fine here. <laughs> okay, and there's also the fact that our boat doesn't seem to be going as far. I think it technically gets the boats. Te you're having the boat technically trailing by ten feet. It's technically moving at the same speed as theirs. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Um, question: Is that flaming boat sinking at all? Oh, it's sunk. Oh, it's sunk, so it's not yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, I think the only thing that decides this is one, the last torn, and two, having to use a bunch of torns to do the torn at, towards the island. Mm -hmm. Second place still pays out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And managed to get through, and um, both managed to get through with completely intact boats, so that's something. Nepotism! Like, what? Our boat took six damage, was it? Uh, I mean, we could count, like, every time you cast a water spell on the damn thing. Even then, it wouldn't be... Even then, it wouldn't be doing enough, because one, they'd be hitting against hardness, and two, since they're not siege weapons, they do, like, half damage to vehicles. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the ship hasn't been scooting around. Uh, where is it? Oh, should be. Well, should be about here now. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on because it seems like they keep pulling ahead of us, even though we were all, even though we got boosted the whole time. And that's like, I'm not quite sure how they're doing the how they're pulling ahead so easy. Well, they had a straight line. Like yeah, they could. Yeah. Meanwhile, we had. You had a you had a lot of angles. Yeah. Is there anything else to do? Wait, we're basically on the last round. So if I don't get a huge ass boost now, I don't think we make it. Wait a second. Ark, What's um, up? your last line. Mm -hmm. Seems to be oh this line you just seem to be uh, drawing from the bow and then placing it at the stern of the ship. So that's adding quite a bit of movement. You guys not been doing the same thing? No. 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 Okay. Uh, how, how much? Uh, how much is we adding? So there's. We've been we've been doing it for like the nose of the ship. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, no, it, no, I'm always I'm always putting Yedrin there, and then the boat is ten feet behind Yedrin. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, you're, okay. you're moving like an eight seventy foot ship. I'm moving a ten foot person. Mm. <laughs> so you basically are gaining like sixty movement on me every time you do that. Yeah, I think. Wouldn't the race have already been over that. if it was that extreme? But all right. No, that's the entire reason they've been pulling ahead every single time. Okay. So yeah, it's probably closer to about there right now. Mm. Okay, yeah, just, with your next, your next move, I can say you can add about... Mm, off the course of that. Straight line. Like, seriously, if I can get 190 feet, I... Please, sure, uh, 200 yeah, feet for the, for the sake of that, because, because trajectories and the whatnot, sure, throw on, like, an extra... I don't know. Throw on an extra 60 to 80 feet. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure all bow touches that. 
and touches the dog at or j just noses the dog. So that's enough. Yeah. Okay. Pink. Nice. Like if it's an 80, I'd be like here. Uh. Night Cardo. Night Cardo. Night Cardo. Yes, yeah. It's it, the whole thing is weird because one, like I said, I was doing a lot of turning, and two, you were going there, you were going to the back reach with, from the front. So, we were, I was the one leading the boat, so we were basically always behind, but like. 30, 40 feet or more because of the mm -hmm. difference there. The I'm, the, the... I'm going to say you guys pull in and as you do pull in like there's a little uh, and everyone else is just like yep. Well, that that's a boat. <laughs> yep, that's a boat. They like look down and go we might have to change the rules for next year. Yeah. I think that... <laughs> Come on. I, I mean, I, one, I can't blame them. Two, I think that's like twice I've probably caused this. <laughs> they look down. They look at the motor on the back of uh, back of the twins. We gotta go. I just we gotta go. All right. Ne next year, we've got to make sure propelled Shit. Propelled <laughs> only by the by, by like rowing or sails. Oh, fuck. God fuck it, Agents of Mayhem. I live up to the name. Oh god, this turned so fucking lackey racer so fast. Me too. I mean Arc meanwhile like looks back at Fiona and goes. Eh, race is over. Told you you guys would win. Seems so. Mm. Good run. He looks back and goes, Good run. <laughs> he casts a spell oh, flight. He casts a spell flight on you. <laughs> oh, what a dumb okay. brat. <laughs> you know, get in. <laughs> Nice little boost there. She smiles. What he's doing and says, See you later, then. The, does <laughs> what? <laughs> what did she hmm? do? She waves to him and says, Take care of it. Well, I mean, when she says she gets a nice little boost and does what? Uh, nice little boost of speed, so. Oh, he just spelled the fly. He just spelled fly! <laughs> Oh, this... <laughs> yeah. to spell fly on you. <laughs> okay, she's kind of spelling that. <laughs> How dare you, sir? It's only a third level spell. Well, didn't she use Overland Flight? That's a fifth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh well, the spell's on your thoughts. Just to spell magic. Yeah, he just got to spell magic. Okay, okay yeah. I, he, I thought he was doing fly, where he actually burned a fly slot for that. Mm. Since you used Overland Flight, he's not bothering. Oh. Yeah, using the same spell slot only works... Uh, using the same spell again um, only works for counterspelling. Yeah, he's You can not... dispel with, like, opposing spells, but... Yeah. He's just gonna, like, flies back. He's like, whatever. Okay. And he goes, so, like, as you're flying back, because you got a little ways to go, he goes, so what are you gonna name the kid? I'm sure we can decide when we're actually having one. It just like looks. It gives you that like incredulous look, and he goes, "Neither of us are putting the car before the track, though. Trust me." Well, I was assuming Unless that you, you were can tell gonna... something about me that I can't. No, I was making the assumption that you were much like Dak, and that you were trying at every opportunity that you got. <laughs> if 
Kim just covers her face again and shakes her. It, anything to... What's the word I'm looking here? Any excuse to settle down? Get away from it all? Not deal with the constant headaches? Be on sound on the matter for a moment. But she takes a deep breath. We get just regathers herself and in a rather serious tone says There's no rest for the wicked. I'm gonna And this fall needs to be done still. And I'm gonna I end this there that. tonight. Cool.